okay guys so welcome back to 21 american made and uh, this is just another section or segment i should say of uh, my channel where i usually show you all, all the dishes i prepare but i never really show you all the uh agricultural side of it because really and truly i do all my farming from my garden plus i have my chickens and you see the turkeys here roaming about um so we get everything we basically live off the land all right and um it's, it's a great way to be self-sufficient especially in this covid 19 times all right so guys stay tuned and keep watching the rest of this video to see how you can easily plant your own potatoes at home probably in a, a bucket or you know anything that is of your choice that has enough space to plant a potato gonna do this video now to show some of you um, some of you may already know how to do it but um, I had a lot of questions about how I got my potato garden the way it is right now because people think it's so hard to grow potatoes but it, actually it's not it's quite easy and this what you see I have here um, is just a uh, a wire um a sheet of wire which is like a quarter inch by right? quarter inch or something like that let's call it um that i used to make a barrel okay and the layers you see here is like hay which is the hay from the chicken coop really with all the uh, poop and you know manure chicken manure in it and in between is actually cow manure and you know compost all together in the center there and all i did is just make like a, a lasagna layer and just layer on top of layer put hay dirt manure hay soil manure compost hay soil manure, until i got it to the height that i wanted it it's get it it got compressed now because you know the rain and you know all the watering it kind of crushes it a bit so usually you would try to fill back the barrel a lot more so you get more yield out of it but um i haven't done it as yet and the reason why i haven't done it actually i might not do it is because of the fact that i had uh, decided to throw in oops i decided to throw in some um beetroot in between to companion plant right so i'm gonna show you guys quickly just what i do to get the um potatoes ready for the soil so here you're looking at uh this is sweet potato so this was one of my sweet potatoes that came out of the beds here you see it's uh like looking harassed right now because i already dig it up and you know took out what i wanted and just whatever wasn't grown properly yet i just place them back in there left it there to finish growing so it look like they stress like this for a few days until it gets watered again and it will you know spring back up that's how that's the beauty about sweet potato so this is a sweet potato and you can see the shoots here so basically all i do is i just take this and plant it right back into the ground because i'm not going to eat it so i'm just gonna dig it right back into the soil And just cover it just a little bit and as it grows i just cover more and more of it and then you wet them all right
Okay, so I have already um, potatoes grown um, up in the rows above. But just for this video, I'm going to show you all um, potatoes that, that my friend bought from the grocery. But she knows I plant, so she brought this and um, said she knows I'll do something with it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. And this small one, usually, if it's small like this, I don't bother to cut it. I just plant it just as is. So if you have potatoes that's this small, I suggest you just plant this potato whole as is because you're going to get a good yield from it. And for others like this and these here, I just take a knife and just cut, just cut it. That's it. Good. And I leave this side open to the sun so it kind of um, forms like a, a crust over the top. And that helps prevent it from having um, root rot. Okay, so wherever you see, like, there's a, you call this the eye, right? Which is the new shoots that is actually coming out. You just cut the, that part off. So this one I'm going to cut in about three pieces and this here is uh, the Red Bliss potato so I'm cutting this one again so I cut this one in three because there was a shoot here there's a shoot here and there's also another shoot here all right so this one was cut into three and this one is just one um, shoot is on this so I don't think it's worth my effort to cut it up but um i'm seeing just a little bitty one right there so i may just cut this in half and see how it goes all right okay and on this layer so i just have this um wire and i just take it and made like a circle and tied it up on the end so it wouldn't um, open back out and then here I have a layer of the um, chicken my, um, hay, the hay that the chicken worked on all right so this is just this what it is and uh, I'm gonna put some cow manure here um, some compost soil and some more hay just like the other um, ones I did but before I do that I'm actually going to put in the um, potatoes and let it sit there in in the soil all right but I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm still waiting I just cut the potatoes so I'll be waiting for a little bit later after the Sun has a uh, kind of caramelized the outer skin that's exposed okay okay guys so it has been approximately hmm, two days uh, that I left this out here for you don't have to leave it this long though but um, I'm just showing you what it would look like when you get back the um, skin crusted over the potato okay and now we're going to plant it into the basket or the barrel or however you want to call it and you see already there was a bit of rainfall and those sweet potato vines that you saw was looking kind of half dead and not revived you see how it just sprung right back up okay so this is just to tell you I'm just telling you guys that sweet potato is so easy to grow it don't take nothing you just gotta liberally wet them and make sure ensure that wherever you're giving them water it, the water is able to drain out completely and properly all right and you see all the pack joy going up there pretty nicely guys the pack joy is actually budding um it happens to me every year i don't know why this is the first time i got pack joy that's continuously just budding away and producing seed i guess this is because it's an heirloom variety so i get to save the seeds from this every year so look forward to more meals with my pak choy guys because i got to harvest them now okay so here the naya is um planting the potatoes in 
and all she's doing is just pushing it down lightly right and you see how she's placing it in let me see your hand so she's putting that base down into the soil okay and you just kind of twist it right and separate it a little bit more babe Mm -hmm. And then you just repeat it. Same thing. So this is just one way to keep them busy during this COVID-19 time, right guys? You teach them how to garden. <laughs> I rather play than work. Oh well, somewhere we gotta eat. You just put that, just rest it down. No, just rest it down in the basket. No, separate it out. You're putting them too close. Yeah. Yeah. This is my first time planting. You don't have to push it the right down because I'm going to put soil over it. You forget? Alright. Yeah. Go ahead. You have three more to go. I hate work. Mm. She's lazy, so gotta give her something to do. See, these ones have more, some heads yeah exactly so that one will be up and ready in a bit yep mm -hmm. just like if you're in a few months or days or weeks it will be like ready well not really a few days but it would I be know. a few months it takes like about three months on average mm -hmm. about 90 days a lot of heads mm -hmm. i wonder how much how much eyesight you have <laughs> right have so many eyes you wonder how much eyesight you have right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. put one in the back there this have like a little bit of eyes mm -hmm. trying to step on the cabbage right so this is it for now and then after we're going to pour out the um, soil. Oh, yeah. I don't think I don't think I can put all this now. Just about like a half a bucket Okay. Now just spread it all over. Watch your hands. This here is from the chicken coop. Where I might have some chicken down. Where this was the chicken and dog scent. Watch your hand, don't put your hand in that. Get your glove on. That one is poop. So you can <laughs> put, put your hand in the poop <laughs> until it's you know kind of cured by the I don't want to environment. Get hands. So this is kind of like a fresh, fresh poop. Oh. It'll be much easier if you need to poop and just poop in the plant, but our poop is too strong. Right. Okay, so this is this is just the basic of what um you need to do. So you see we'll be layering it. Gonna put some manual on top again and then I'm gonna get another layer of the hay and, and put the egg also. And put manual just keep on copying but when it's the size you want it you stop okay i'm coming through the ah, i want to get out <laughs> so this is just how many she's putting it here yeah. mm -hmm. spread it off 
she's having me doing all the work. I hate work. Just tell you, I'm too lazy for work. I really hate work. Boo! <laughs> I hate work. So, we kind of want it a little bit thin, a little bit. Then we're going to put the hay again. Then we're going to get some more. Well, your eyes might get hay in it. Okay, and that's it, guys. So here you see these are actually um, some of the potatoes that I've already done in the ground these are directly sown into the ground so I have those in the barrels and then these that are um, in the ground right but um, you don't have to do it too but I just try to utilize my space because I need more rows for other plants and so forth so this was one of my um, ideas that I decided to work with um, to help minimize using the ground for for planting okay so just a note um, your, your potato will start to flower and show you signs that it's almost ready to be picked so this is a potato flower for those who have never seen it so look forward to more um, flowers on your potato before you pick it this is one way you know that it's um, ready to be harvested and um but i'm not gonna pick it just as yet i tend to wait until the um the leaves have started to turn like a yellowish color all right after it's been flowered a little bit that just shows me that um it's it's, it's just about that time they can't go anymore guys yeah, so i'm just making a quick video today of um dinner so I already prepped some stuff. I'm still have some uh, butter, um, melted in the pot. I boiled some potatoes, like red bliss and regular potatoes. I chopped onions and mixed the peppers with some parsley. I fried fish. So keep watching and see how I make this dish quickly. Oh yeah, and I have some corn boiling to some boiled corn. So all I did is toss the vegetables in there and just let them sweat a little bit and now I'm just gonna throw in the potatoes season it up with some salt and black pepper Nice, easy butter potato recipe and throwing some parsley on them. That's it. Quick and easy. Look delicious, guys. Very quick and easy. 